Hello guys, it's Unders and today just a quick little logic tutorial video just on some navigation and things around larger projects. So there's a couple of ways you can navigate around your project and the most common one for me is I'm on the iMac, I'm using the Magic Mouse but if you're using a trackpad or the uh, like Magic trackpad thing that you can get with the iMacs as well, this will work for you as well. So if you just pop yourself over option and just get that pressed down. It switches automatically to the zoom tool and your magic mouse or trackpad up and down becomes a zoom in, zoom out on the track size. Whereas left and right becomes your horizontal zoom. And as you can see, it's directly affecting the zoom controls available here up in the top right hand corner. And for me, that's just the easiest way to quickly resize something if I want to have a look into something. If we select it, it's going to center that when we zoom as well, which is dead useful. Now, another one is just quickly moving over to another looped area. For example, we had this bit playing here. But I suddenly want to check out this bit here and I don't want to faff around the top with the looping. If you do Command and U, it will move your loop over to the region you've got selected. Come on. Yeah. And you've moved over to your new section. You can do that with any region you select and it will loop around that area. If I very quickly wanted to see what was going on in the region, if we select it and just hit Z, it's going to full screen that region for us. Press Z again, it's going to go back to the original zoom level that we were at. So it doesn't matter how we were zoomed, it will maintain that previous level, which is really useful for quickly going in and out when editing parts of a project. Or if you're, for example, maybe cutting up drum samples, something like that. You want to quickly zoom in, have a closer look and zoom back out, boom. Just highlight it and quickly press Z. You can then make use of your command U and you can also loop it while you're zooming. Cool, if you've got a particularly busy mix and there's a section that you no longer need to work on, if you hit H, it's going to introduce an extra little option to all of your channels here called H and it means hide and you see that it's also highlighted up the top. If we now grab a couple of these that we no longer want to see, we want to shrink our session down, we hit H again, it's going to hide them away. However, they still play. Come on. Yeah. They're just Come hidden on. from view. It's like that. It's like that. If we take everything away, hide it, yeah. but it's still playing. It's like that's just a useful feature if you've got uh, lots of things going on that are getting in the way on a particularly busy track when you get up to sort of like 30, 40 sessions, that can start happening if you're not using track stacks. And uh, you can just hide them away nice and quickly just to focus on what you're working on. If I'm editing vocals, I'll quite often highlight everything and just hide it. So I've just got my vocal stacks going. As you've seen in my work before, I maybe have 16 or 17 say vocal stems that come in and I'm going to edit those down to one or two stereo channels and I'll just work like that until I've got what I want and then I'll bring everything back into the track just using the H key there. So that's a couple of really quick navigation tips to help you increase your workflow and move around logic smoothly. I hope that was helpful. I will catch you on the next video.